Let's take a run through the rat shop here and um, check out some stuff. Uh, the guys have got four arena rigs set up right now that they're testing, cabling, and uh, making sure everything's in order. Uh, this one here is one of the three that are going to the Passion Conference. Um, two of the show, two of the arena gigs are in Atlanta. One of them's in Houston. And, uh, you know, it's really important for any show to have every cable, everything working properly. And especially when we're shipping this stuff across the country being a California-based company doing shows uh, on the East Coast. Uh, we're headed over into the second stage, uh, the second arena sh system here. Uh, you can see a bunch of Digico boards, a bunch of Midas consoles, Pro 9s, Pro 6s as well. Um, they fire everything up. They get the power distros, they get the front of house, they get the cabling, they make sure all the networks are talking to each other. And we're going to head over to the third uh, Passion Conference system here. Uh, lots of cables, lots of everything. Uh, and with so much stuff going out, we can't, and uh, the trucking costs, we can't afford to bring tons of extra stuff either. It's just got to be uh, dead on with uh, just enough and enough spares. And heading into the last consoles here before we head across the shop to the fourth arena rig. This one's headed to, it's a New Year's Eve gig for Bass Nectar. It'll be the largest EAW Anya system um, ever assembled to date. 72 boxes in the air and uh, 64 L Acoustics SB28s for subs. Uh, you can see the Midas H3000. Derek's gonna use an analog console for this. And the analog rack. And let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. 80,000 watt monitoring system, 10,000 watts a box, eight boxes. Uh, head over here and see the Avid monitor console for base nectar. And uh, each of the rigs has got a shitload of road cases. And that's it. Just a quick walk through the rat shop. Uh, on a busy day.